What's going on, YouTube? Seeing Grail here. I'm your son, Rico. And I gotta say to all my wonderful, beautiful faces out there. Mm, this is just miss you, miss you, love you, love you. Welcome back to another Market Watch video. If you guys don't know, every Thursdays we have standard Market Watches, and every Fridays we have premium Market Watches. And also, just want to say to you guys, happy belated Merry Christmas. If you guys don't know, last, um, the past few days, Merry Christmas, of course. I'm still wearing my Christmas sweater, if you guys can't tell. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm just here doing a market watch. Like I said, every Thursday is a standard market watch, and every Friday is, is a premium market watch. So right now at the moment, let's just jump on right into it. Of course, if you guys don't know, the latest set that we just got, Ultra ultra Rare Miracle Collection, and of course we got the Rainbow Rares. Rainbow Rares are pretty much sitting at 200, 190, 190 be between 200, which is, I mean, pretty good. But in all honesty, a lot of people are underestimating pulling the Rainbow Rares. Rainbow Rares are actually really hard to pull. So I seen a person actually buy two cases of, um, I'm sorry, I seen a person buy four cases of Ultra Rare. And if, and if you guys don't know, in each, like, each container box comes with two cases in them. So even though he bought two, even though he bought four cases and two of them were in the containers, out of two containers of two, ca of two cases in each, he didn't pull Rainbow Rare out of all four of them. So the Rainbow Rare is actually super hard to pull. But I mean, the, I mean, he did pull ultra rares, but then again, the ultra rares are nowhere near close of uh, rainbow rares. Ultra rares right now at the moment are going for 98, 90, 99, 100. I mean, so far at the moment, the most expensive ultra rare, of course, is Cecilia. Then after that, um, it should be Angel Feathers. Angel Feathers is at 98, and then R Gold Paladin is at 93, 94, which is pretty good. Now, if you guys haven't watched my last standard market watch, I complained a lot about Neon Neonectors. I assume Neonectors would be, would be the most expensive clan, but it's crazy enough, it's actually Gold Paladins. SVR's Ezels Ev right now at the moment are 35 36 and then SVR's Angel Feathers is 35 36 uh, 40 bucks apparently. And then Cecilia's are at 31 32 33 So again, I'm a little bit confused because like I said, when this set first came out, Neonectors are the best client ever. I mean, they're the, they're the broken meta in standard, in standard format at the moment. But Azul right now is being bought out consistently. It's being bought out for standard and premium, because in premium, Azul is pretty retarded. But uh, it looks like Gold Paladin is still the money set in this set. Um, I mean, like I said, even though I <laughs> Neonectors should be m more money. I mean, Cecilia's right now at the moment are like 17 18 bucks, which is... Pretty cheap to me, in my opinion. Then Vivian's Origin Rares are 13 14 uh, Metatron's are 18 uh, Apparently, someone's actually selling it for $35. Good luck with that. And then the Musketeer Origin Rares, 11 to 12 bucks. Uh, of course, Gold Paladin and Triple R's are the most expensive ones. Uh, Vivian's, Bowman's, and after that is Angel Feathers. Uh, Neon Nectar's, Rebecca's, like 3 bucks. Not really that great. But then after that, everything else should be like 2 bucks, 3 bucks. Uh, I mean... So far, the prices in this set are slowly going down, and Hail Show Mark is actually the most expensive PG out of this whole set. Uh, Hail Show Mark is going for a dollar to two bucks. The Angel for the PG is going for a dollar. Pretty sure it'll drop down to like 80 cents. And then the PG for Neon Nectars is actually holding at a dollar. I'm pretty sure it'll also drop down to 75 cents or 80 cents. But then after that, I'm pretty sure everything else is like 80 cents or lower. But give it another week or two, I can guarantee a lot of these cards will drop down to a quarter or maybe less than a quarter. Next set I want to go into is like Qualia Strife. Of course, Escapade Blaster SVRs are the money card in this set. It's actually been going up and up and up. The SVR right now at the moment is 58 bucks. Pretty good. I mean, there's only four listings up right now at the moment. I mean, basically after these, you can put up for 60. So I wouldn't be, wouldn't be surprised if the SVR Bla Escapade Blaster does go up to 60. Uh, Trenzel Novake, unfortunately, is still at 31, 32, and then everything else is pretty much the same. Escaplay Blaster is at 20, Novel Vague is still at 11, 12 bucks. Uh, the, the Hollow Triggers are pretty much the same price. I mean, they haven't really went up or went down. Uh, surprisingly enough, the Heal Trigger for Kagro is actually more expensive than the than the Roll Pile than Heal Trigger. But besides that, everything else is pretty much the same at 3, 4 bucks in this set. The Hot Stand Limited Edition Secret Campaign version Phantom Blaster Dragons are still holding at 700 basically. Uh, well, 690, 692, 695, so it's basically 700. I mean, glad to see that the price is actually now stabilizing around 700, which is pretty good. But then after that, of course, Shadow Palins are still the main money cards in this set. Of course, they got the most exp expensive uh, SVR, expensive Origin Rare, and the most expensive Image Rare, which actually dropped down a little bit. The Image Rare used to be 35, but now it's actually dropping down to 25, 26, which is pretty good. Uh, Phantom Blaster Dragon VRs are, are even more expensive than the other SVRs, which is pretty 
pretty good if you have a lot of shadow piling cards. Golden Beast Tamer SVRs are, are down to 20, 21, 22. Orgeron Nightmare Doll Alice is down to 20. Actually, I'm pretty sure she was the same price. Uh, Zenbaku SVRs actually went down a lot. They used to be 25, 26. So they went down by 7 bucks, 7, 8 bucks to 18, 50 or 19 bucks, which is pretty good. If you want to hollow out your Murakuma deck. And of course, no Life King Death Anchor is at 20 bucks. Pretty good. <laughs> So, I'm a little bit afraid to see the other prices. Actually, no, I'm sorry. No Live King right now at the moment is at 13. Uh, Beast Tamer is at 13. 13 to 17, apparently. And then, of course, everything else should be pretty cheap. Uh, regular Zambakus are down to 11 bucks. Uh, Sharon's, oh, wow. Okay, so Sharon's actually skyrocketed up. Sharon's right now at the moment are almost $7. They're 6 to $7, which is actually pretty good. Um, go in the rip right now, we're gonna look at that. The mains are up actually. The mains are up, but uh, they're about to be six bucks actually. The mains are five, five to six. The makas are pretty cheap, like three bucks. But then everything else should be cheap. Like I said, the main money cards in this set is Shadow Paladin. Everything else should be a dollar or less. Of course, I want to talk about my favorite set. My favorite set is Champions of the Asia Circuit. A lot of cards in here held their value, especially the SVR uh, Great Daishos. That's still 43, 44. And then the Baskers SVRs are still 33, 34. And apparently there's actually one someone selling it for $88. Uh, there's only three listings of, Bas of the SVR Baskers. So... Of course, it was a buyout, or people just are just not listing them at the moment. So basically, after these two are gone, there's one more listing left for $88. That's a little bit insane to me, but uh, I, I guess the buyout is real, or maybe people are just listing them. Now, Maelstrom has actually surprised me a lot. The SVR is still holding at $21. It hasn't went down, hasn't went up. It's still the same, same price. And then, of course, the, the most expensive VR out of this whole set is Great Dayusha. Afterwards, Baskers are still holding at 18 to 17 And Maelstrom actually went up. The regular VR Maelstroms actually went up from $11 to $14 to $15. Which is really good in my opinion because uh, if you guys if you guys haven't watched my last videos, I was actually I was like destroying like I was talking bad about VR Maelstroms and how cheap it was and how cheap the SVR should be also. But apparently the Maelstroms they went up by three bucks. Now they're now at fourteen to fifteen dollars. They used to be eleven bucks. They just keep going up, which uh, I don't know why. I guess I'm I'm out of the loop on why Aqua Force are right now at the moment or the money cards. But besides that, everything else is pretty much the same. <clears throat> Uh, title sorts of title souls are still at seven. The patch goals are still at five. Die dragons are still at four. Uh, Danny Gary Mario's are down to three, three, three to four. Daushas are still four to three, and then after that, Rune Shades, the cheapest triple R, which is a dollar or two, and then Diamonds is a dollar basically, and then everything else should be cheap. Again, like I said, a lot of the triple R's in this set is money. A lot of the VR's in this set is money. Champions the Asia Circuit is still the strongest set to invest in. United Team Q4, a lot of cards in here are getting support. It's but mainly mainly Oracle Think Tanks are getting support later on. Imperial Dot is still the same price. The SVRs. Waterfalls are still 33, 40 bucks. King Knights Alfreds actually went down a little bit. They used to be 35. Now they're down to 33, 32. And then image image rare blasted blades are still holding at 25. Uh, everything else should be particularly the same. I mean, um, they're all holding the value, especially waterfalls. Uh, Alfred's, they're also holding the value. Imperial Daughter actually went down a little bit, the VRs, but after that, everything else should still be the same. Um, oh, I'm expecting all these cards to stay around eight bucks, eight to six bucks. A lot of triple R's in this set are above five dollars, uh, which is pretty good in my honest opinion because a lot of triple R's in other sets are a dollar or less. But a lot of triple R's in this set are actually keeping the values besides uh, Shura Kaiser. Shura Kaiser is actually the cheapest one. Um, so uh, Soul Silver Dragon is actually uh, three to four bucks, pretty good. But then after that, like I said, a lot of a lot of the cards in here are pretty cheap. Uh, flashy Souls are still up there by three bucks. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Uh, the PG for Kagro is actually holding at two bucks right now at the moment. Uh, the, okay, so the PG for o OTT actually went up a little bit. Beforehand, the PG for OTT in standard format, they used to be less than a dollar. They used to be 90 cents, 99 cents. Now they're actually up to a dollar fifty, basically. So it's pretty good to see that this PG actually is actually going up right now at the moment, which is which I'm happy about. And then, wow. So again, um, this triple R Shura Kaiser used to be less than a dollar. Used to be fifty cents. Used to be forty cents. But apparently, after after this one's gone for fifty cents, um, they're going for a dollar basically. So I guess a lot of cards in this set are retaining their value. If not, they're actually selling. Uh, Marins are still the the, the 
third most expensive, no, the fourth most expensive uh, double iron in this set. But then after this, it should be, everything else should be like 80 cents or lower. Now, one of my least favorite sets, of course, it's Destructive Roar. Uh, the prices in here just keep dropping. Like I said, the main money cards in this set are legitimately just the SVRs. SVR Gigarex is 30 bucks, 29, 30 bucks. Uh, Siegfrieds are 29, 30 bucks. Hercules are 28, but then after that, the VRs dropped down so much. The Gigarex VRs used to be 19, 20 bucks. They dropped down to 12 dollars. Siegfrieds dropped down to 12 to 13, and then a Hercules dropped down to 11 to 12. Again, a lot of the cards here dropped down super hard, especially the VRs. The VRs basically have no value. If you buy a box, you pull a VR, you go minus. If you buy a box and pull an SVR, you actually go, uh, you actually go maybe like, like, like half these. Like, like you might make back some of your money, not all of it. But again, even the triple R's, the Mega Rexes are down to two bucks, three bucks. Spike Bouncers are down to three bucks. Juggernauts are actually pretty. Juggernauts are are still up there by three bucks. Mantises are barely a dollar. Uh, Defrex are dollar fifty. And then Sag Beetles are a, doll, are a dollar, which I'm actually surprised about. But like I said, a lot of cards in this set actually dropped on a lot. This set is terrible. Do not invest in Destructive Roar. And of course, the last cards I want to talk about, the gift markers. The new gift markers that we just got, uh, of course, the Protect ones going for 78 to 80. The Imaginary Force gift markers, which are really nice. They're going for 74, 75, 76. And of course, I'm pretty sure the corn is actually sold out, so we'll look for it in a bit. But Masaki right now at the moment is only one for 70. After that, Leon's are still holding at 48, 49. The Asuka is still holding at 42, 43, and then everything else should still be the same. Um, there's no like crazy hype or buy on gift markers at the moment, but uh, I'm pretty sure that there's a buy on the corn gift marker, which we will look for right now, actually. So actually, there's two gift markers that are completely sold out. The Kenji gift markers, there's no more. The last one sold for 60 bucks, 60, 60 to 62 bucks. And then the corn gift markers were also sold out. Uh, either that or no one just didn't list it up. But uh, no, honesty, <laughs> I mean, it's going for 75, 76. So if you have corns, I recommend to list them up right now. You can probably get away with listing them up for 85 to 90 dollars. Possibly, in my honest opinion, a lot of people are actually looking for corns. Uh, as soon as I got my corns, I sold them immediately for for uh, 75. Uh, corns right now at the moment are definitely in demand. So if you pull a corn, I recommend to list it up for 80 bucks, 85 bucks, maybe even 90. You probably probably go super plus on it. And Kenji's at the moment, like like I said, I'm actually surprised I actually found this. Kenji's are completely sold out. So if anyone ha who has Kenji's, if you want to list them up, recommend to list them up on the market for at least 70 because there's they're gone. There's, no more so yeah guys that's today's market watch if you guys enjoyed the video please hit that like button if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel i recommend to subscribe to our channel i guarantee you guys will have more car for vanguard content and of course every thursdays is standard market watch and every fridays is premium market watch so stay tuned for tomorrow tomorrow we have a premium market watch and of course guys leave a comment down below because i love talking to you guys if you guys haven't hit that bell button i do not care but if you want to hit that bell button it makes me happy it makes baldwin happy it makes it makes john have a little twinkle in his eye so please hit that bell button miss you miss you love you love you deuces